Hello, everybody! who might not like what you say, but it's important to stand for what you believe in. That's right, Ollie. Last time, Jehu and Ollie arrived in Egypt trying to find Jehu's niece and nephew. Rupert came along as well, and they befriended the Pharaoh's son, Ramses. If you really like chariots, Barshad can show you how to ride one. There are several at our place on the Nile, and the big races are coming at the end of the month. Here comes Barshad. Maybe he'll show you how to drive a chariot. And you can be in the race! A chariot race? The one in the bottle? Indeed, I can help you win. But first, you must listen. <gasps> You've got to use your noggin. Ah. Take the cobwebs from your ears. Ah. Reach inside for fortitude. Laugh in the face of fear. God can train your spirit to respond with discipline. If you want to find the strength to win, you've got to look within. Jolly well, we'll win it. We'll give it our best. Jolly well, we'll be faster than the legions of hell. Jolly well, we'll win it, we'll give it our best. Jolly well, we'll be faster than the legions of hell. As Jehu learned the ins and outs of chariot racing, Ollie and Rupert were to be introduced to the Pharaoh. Ramses, your father has been sick with worry. I want you to meet some of my new friends from Jerusalem. I'm from Caesarea. Ollie's from Bethany. Well, pleased to meet you. I'm Alondra. Ollie told Ramses and Alondra about his experience with Jesus. Which brings us to our next story called Let the Children Go. like that. I believe it now. I do too. When is he going to take us away? When you die. Your spirit is going to live forever in either heaven or hell. And if you trust in him and not yourself, you can go to heaven. How do we do it? I can help you pray if you want. I did. It made me feel a whole lot better. In fact, I even made up a little song to my prayer. I'll teach it to you if you like. I'd love that. It goes like this. I've some fibs, I've stole some things, and done things my own way. But now I'm sorry, I believe Jesus died for me. I want to go to heaven, to live eternal way. Yes, I'm guilty of doing wrong, saying things, now I'm ashamed. Being mean to those who needed help. I know Jesus. 
Jesus died for me. I want to go to heaven and move in the funeral way. I'm sorry. I know he died for me. I want to go to heaven and live a funeral way. Like some weight was taken off my back. Me too. This is really real. Come on, let's go back to the palace. You can tell my father about Jesus. I know you're really excited, Ramses, but not everyone believes it. He will. I just know it. If only he didn't hate Hebrews so much. If only Jesus wasn't a Hebrew. think your sniveling will get you anywhere with me? You're a slave, zombie. I don't care how you feel. You'll do as I say, little Daniel. You'll be lucky to ever work again. Now get up and start picking. We need this flax for Pharaoh's new clothes. You better have that basket full by the time I get back. And don't let me catch you crying. Here, Daniel, you can have some of mine. I can pick some more fast. Thanks, Reuben. Do you think we'll ever escape this madness? We can always hope for a Moses to command the Pharaoh to let his people go. Here, Daniel, take some of mine. I've been praying every moment that I've been here. God is going to help us out. Please I just know it for sure. Onto oh, the next oh, batch. here, here comes Lucius. Oh. There's all my little zombies. <laughs> hmm. All you little zombies, better be at work. Do exactly as you're told, I'll really make you hurt. Your slave no longer children, you won't escape my sight. You're better off for getting home, you won't escape my plight. You there with the basket, fill it to the brim. If I hear you sniveling, I'll really do you in. I'm not known for kindness, I'm a nightmare from alive. Best be quick upon your feet if you're hoping to survive. Zombies, little zombies, trembling at my whip. Don't expect any kindnesses, I won't bend an inch. Zombies, little zombies, I'll work you to the bone. You'll be too busy to ever think about ever going home. Well, little Daniel, I see you filled your basket after all. Very well. Get in line with the rest of them. It's time to go back. The slave children all followed Lucius back to the barracks to be fed a watery broth of oxtail and a crust of stale bread. In the distance, they hear the celebration from the palace as the pharaoh welcomes back his son and the preparations for the great chariot race begin. Ramses, my son, I have been told you've brought along some very special friends. Your mother and I would like to meet them. They're right there, father. This is Donkey Ollie, and this is Rupert. A donkey and a raven? Surely you just, my son. No, father. You've never met anything like them. They're from Israel. Israel? You know I have forbidden you. Father, you yourself have acquired Israelites as slaves. Should I be any different in acquiring some pets from Israel? Besides, these are special. They sing. They sing? 
Surely you just... No! I've heard them. And now you shall hear them too. They're followers of a man we've heard raised from the dead. The carpenter, Jesus Christ. that a donkey and raven can sing. Very impressive. But it's going to take more than a singing donkey and raven for me to release my slaves. In fact, I shall have Lucius increase their quota of flax. <gasps> my son, I hardly would have expected this treachery from one of my own blood. Father? No, son. You've already caused me too much grief for one evening. I suggest you take your friends out of here before I decide to feed them to the crocodiles. And if you are to succeed me on the throne, you had better realize that the soft-hearted are also the soft-headed. And when you rule, it is with an iron fist. I'll never let the children go to slaves until they die. You're wasting time asking, I'm <sighs> keeping what's mine. It's too bad they're not happy. It's too bad they're feeling hurt. It's too bad for the donkey. It's too bad for the bird. My house already made up, the writing's on the wall. Too bad these little children were even born at all. It's too bad they're not happy. It's too bad they're feeling hurt. It's too bad for the donkey, too bad for the bird. <laughs> I admit it's pretty crazy hearing singing about these two. It doesn't mean I'll give in, give the children back to you. You said your piece impressive, I heard you loud and clear. I've got one answer, forget they're even here. Oh. Huh? 
say I hear him sing about it too It doesn't mean I'll give in Give the children back to you You said your piece impressive I heard you loud and clear I've got one that's up But yet they're even here Skiddly beep bop burnt now Skiddly beep beep bop don't scare You know, Pharaoh, there's a much higher power than yours. Jesus said whoever the sun sets free will be free indeed. Yeah, we're not afraid of you. Our God is able to deliver them if he chooses. So, young Ramses, this is the kind of insolence you bring before my throne? Guards, lock these two up next to the crocodile pit. My head is annoyed enough with that constant badgering. <laughs> Please, Father, they only speak the truth. Don't lock my friends up. My son, of all the treachery, you too would betray your throne to follow this Hebrew god? Until you recant, I will not grant you audience again. Young Ramses, bear in mind you will forsake all if you continue to follow this Jesus Christ. Why must you harden your heart so, Father? If I am to become Pharaoh someday, will I just become a god as you? I know I'm no god, but a mere mortal. Huh? None of our forefathers have raised from the dead, yet you refuse to listen to the words of one who has. Indeed, Father, though you lock my friends up and refuse to grant me audience, I will not cease to follow this Jesus Christ, even though your heart, Father, shall not be immune from his love. And you, my friends, in time you shall be free at last. Go to your room, Ramses. Creatures will never take me prisoner!
you're hurt. There's blood all over you. What happened? Who could have done this to you? The Pharaoh was going to put me in prison with Ollie. Rupert, you've been shot. Let me put a mud pack on that. I can hide you here, but you're going to have to promise to be really quiet. Do you think you can do I that? I can try. While Ramses is confined to his room, Alondra gets a message to him that Rupert is safe and healing at her house. It cheers up Ramses' spirits, dampened by the imprisonment of his friend, Donkey Ollie. The news of the big chariot race is on everybody's lips. From across the seas, chariot drivers and their teams have come to win the biggest race in the world. Every day, the palace staff is busy fixing a banquet for another visiting dignitary. Rome, Syria, Greece, Persia, Ethiopia, the guests and the food are endless. Whoa! Magnificent! Farshad, is there any news of my nephew and niece, or Ollie and Rupert? I sought to avoid telling you, Jehu. There's been news, but the news has been bad. It seems the Pharaoh got upset with Ollie and had him imprisoned. Ramses has been confined to his room, and Rupert was hit by arrows on his way flying out of the <gasps> palace. As for your nephew and niece, they are still under the watchful care of the kindly cook Pontifar. I'm afraid that it is up to you to win the race and win their freedom. In all my life of training chariot drivers, I have never seen one take so readily to the skills and become one with his team of horses. You have mastered the secret, Jehu. Your horses run for you out of love and respect, not fear. And you have earned their love. Go feed the horses some oats. Well, if it is up to me to win their freedom, then win I shall for the honor of my people and for the deliverance of Ollie and the children. When the odds are stacked against us And there's nowhere left to go The race goes to the swiftest And leaves behind the slow I'll ride my way to victory And never look behind I can win this chariot race Save those who are mine I'll win this race for freedom I'm willing to pay the price and do just what it takes For the honor of my people, I'll do my very best He who holds me in his hands will have to do the rest I'll win this race for freedom, I'll win this race for love I'll look to God Place. The victory's mine I'll win this race for 
<laughs> Jayla's skill with the chariot had improved, but would it be enough to save Jonathan and Rhea? We'll see. Here it is, kids! What you've been waiting for! Farmer John's Corner! Hi there! We're making a few snacks for the potluck tonight, and I Hi, Mr. Shivers here! Today we're making... What are we making? Uh, ants on a log. Ants on a log! Now to start with, you get some peanut butter and a piece of celery, and you spread the peanut butter into the crevice of the celery, just like this. Yes, nice and smooth, just as I planned. Yes, perfect. <sighs> I don't like bullies. Cover it up. I don't know anybody who does. But sometimes, you can get the bully to work with you. Let me show you how. Mr. Shivers! Yes? I see you have the celery there. Yes. Now that, the celery is the log. Log. Now you have peanut butter inside, and now yes. we need the ants. The ants. And for ants, and I've got them right here. Fire ants. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we we don't use real ants. Hmm? We we use raisins. Uh, raisins. That's what we use. How can you have ants on a log without real ants? And sometimes you need a little help from your friends. Hey, Mr. Shivers, hey. come on, we gotta go. Look, uh, look, look, I gotta show you this tractor. I mean, but, Farmer but, John's tractor, but uh, it plows dirt and everything. It's so wonderful. Look, it even goes in circles. I, I don't even have to ride it. It just keeps going. Of course, I ran out of power about And sometimes, years. it's good to have people on your side when dealing with bullies. Hmm? Ooh, my goodness. Green cheese, my favorite. In our next episode, it's the day of the big race, and all of Jehu's skills will be needed to defeat Lucius and win the race. To the winner today will go any wish he desires, up to half my kingdom. Only one will win, only one will wear the wreath. Let the race begin! And Ollie's brothers are getting into trouble again. Well, I for one am tired of eating straw and doing all this work for nothing. We need you to bring us three bags of food from your barn. You want us to steal from Farmer John? That's next time on The Adventures of Donkey Ollie. See you again next time. Bye now! We'll never forget you when we're gone.